Morning prayer for Monday, Thursday. Is it nothing to you, all who pass, all you who pass by? Look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which was brought upon me, whom the Lord has afflicted. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Venite on page 82. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. <clears throat> come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Now let us say together Psalms 132, 33, 34, and, one, and 35, beginning on page 785 of the prayer book. <clears throat> Lord, remember David and all the hardships he endured, how he swore an oath to the Lord and vowed a vow to the mighty one of Jacob. I will not come under the roof of my house, nor climb into my bed, I will not allow my eyes to sleep, nor my eyelids to slumber, until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. The ark, we heard it was in Ephrata. We found it in the fields of Jerem. Let us go to God's dwelling place. Let us fall upon our knees before his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into your resting place. You in the ark of your strength, let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your faithful people sing with joy for your servant David's sake. Do not turn away the voice face of your anointed. The Lord has sworn an oath to David. In truth, he will not break it. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. If your children keep my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their children will sit upon your throne forevermore. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired her for his habitation. This shall be my resting place forever. Here will I dwell, for I delight in her. I will surely bless her provisions and satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation and her faithful people will rejoice and sing. There will I make the horn of David flourish. I have prepared a lamb, lamp for my anointed. As for his enemies, I will clothe them in shame, with shame. But as for him, his crown will shine. Oh, how good and pleasant it is when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head that runs down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion, for there the Lord has ordained the blessing, life forevermore. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. 
The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, you servants of the Lord, you who stand in the house of the Lord, in the court, courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises to his name, for it is lovely. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great and that our God is above all gods. The Lord does whatever pleases him in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all the deeps. He brings up rain clouds from the ends of the earth. He sends out lightning with the rain and brings the winds out of his storehouse. It is he who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, the firstborn both of man and beast. He sent signs and wonders into the midst of you, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. He overthrew many nations and put mighty kings to death, Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kings of Canaan. He gave their land to be an inheritance, an inheritance for Israel, his people. O Lord, your name is everlasting. Your renown, O Lord, endures from age to age. For the Lord gives his people justice and shows compassion to his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes have they, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Neither is there any breath in their mouth. Those who make them are like them. And so are all who put their trust in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first book uh, reading is from the book of Lamentations, chapter 2, verses 10 through 18. <clears throat> the elders of daughter Zion sit on the ground in silence. They have thrown dust on their heads and put on sackcloth. The young girls of Jerusalem have bowed their heads to the ground. My eyes are spent with weeping. My stomach churns. My bile is poured out on the ground because of the destruction of my people, because infants and babes faint in the streets of the city. They cry to their mothers, where is bread and wine? As they faint like the wounded in the streets of the city, as their life is poured out on their mother's bosom. What can I say to you? To what compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? To what can I liken you that I may comfort you, O, o virgin daughter Zion? For vast as the sea is your ruin, who can heal you? Your prophets have seen for you false and deceptive visions. They have not exposed your iniquity to restore your fortunes, but have seen oracles for you that are false and misleading. All who pass along the way clap their hands at you. They hiss and wag their heads at daughter Jerusalem. Is this the city that was called the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole of the earth? All your enemies open their mouths against you. They hiss, they gnash their teeth, they cry, we have devoured her. Ah, this is the day we longed for. At last we have seen it. The Lord has done what he purposed. He has carried out his threat. As he ordained long ago, he has demolished without pity. He has made the enemy rejoice over you and exalted the might of your foes. Cry aloud to the Lord, O wall of daughter Zion. Let tears stream down like a torrent day and night. 
Give yourself no rest, your eyes no respite. Here ends the reading. Let us say together the Song of Moses, Canticle 8, on page 85. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its riders has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. <clears throat> the God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord. The sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading is from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians um, in chapters 10 and 11. My dear friends, <clears throat> flee from the worship of idols. I speak as to sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I say. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Whoever, therefore, eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner <clears throat> will be answerable for the body and blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves, and only then drink of the bread and eat drink sorry, eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For all who eat and drink without discerning the body, eat and drink judgment against themselves. For this reason, many of you are weak and ill and some have died. But if, the but if we judged ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined so that we may not be condemned along with the world. Here ends the reading. Let us say together Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed on page 94. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do your homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will, fall ne will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was to the, is now, and is, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us say the Apostles' Creed together on page 96, followed by the Our Father and Suffrages A. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. <clears throat> Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, whose dear Son, on the night before he suffered, instituted the sacrament of his body and blood, mercifully grant that we may receive it thankfully in remembrance of Jesus Christ our Lord, who in these holy mysteries gives us a pledge of eternal life and who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our, Lo our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now we come to the prayers for the Church of the Atonement um, for this week of March 24th, 2024. Please add your own prayers, uh, either silently or aloud at home, or you may write them in the chat section of this um, Google feed, and I will um, read them as we get to that. <laughs> for the sick for those in, in any need or trouble, and for all those who have asked us for our prayers, especially Anthony, Robert, Paul, Jacob, Jolene, Jeremiah, Katie, David, Beth, Susan, Sean, Kate H., Jonathan, Devon, Matthew, Ron B., Jer Judy B., Jerry C., Brad, Mary, Killian, Dennis, former President Carter, King Charles, Princess Kate, Mary, Arun, all with COVID-19, Elizabeth, Jim, Charlie, Edward, Kelly, Ann R., Bill, Connie, Larry, Carmen, Eleanor Francis and Christian, religious, Ken, a deacon, Thomas, Tom and Greg, priests, Richard, a pastor, Michael and Rodney, bishops. For an end to war, remembering especially the people of Gaza, Israel, and the West Bank, Sudan, Ukraine, Russia, Mali, Iran, and Yemen. And for an end to violence and division in our neighborhood, city, and nation. And for those struggling with depression, anxiety, or addiction. For all healthcare workers, especially Joseph Basil, Jackie, Gary, Will, Choi, Erica Kay, Larry, Kieran, Lee, Carrie, William, Eric, Lisa, Thomas, and Emily, for all families and children in this city and state, for all expectant parents, and for all prisoners. For members of our military services on active duty, especially Celeste and Nate, and for Scott serving as security in Iraq, for Paula, our bishop, Charles, our rector, 
Amanda and Dave are wardens, and for the members of our vestry, for Eric and Rachel as they prepare for baptism, baptism. And for those celebrating birthdays this week, Russell jo Rossi, Joey Rodell, Bo Armstrong, a religious, Michael Ogan Loyi, Harry Tingley, a priest, Melba Rodriguez, um, Michael Fogarty, Diana Radson, Dave Bile, Dory Mayfield, Grace Steinberg, Deborah Malik, Tova Wilkenfeld, Jim Sewell. And we pray for the souls of the departed. Tom Mulder, the brother of John, Father John Mulder, Senator Joe Lieberman, New York Police Department Officer Jonathan Diller, the over 100 killed in the terrorist attack in Moscow. And at the anniversaries of their deaths, for George Elias, Walter McGillicuddy, Barbara Greeter, Clive Anthony Flowers, Jack Morrow, Watson Stewart. A prayer for peace. Almighty God, from whom all thoughts of truth and peace proceed, kindle in the hearts of all people the true love of peace and guide with your pure and peaceable wisdom those who make decisions for the nations of the earth, that in tranquility your kingdom may go forward till the earth be filled with the knowledge of your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let us say the general thanksgiving together on page 101. <clears throat> Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory throughout all ages, amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that concludes morning prayer for this Monday, Thursday morning. Thank you for joining us. We'll be here again tomorrow morning and every morning at 8.30 a.m. on Google Meet. Um, since today is, there are no daily, sorry. There are no daily masses today um, or tomorrow, um, as to, we are now in the days of the Triduum. Um, instead, we will have um, a Monday Thursday mass tonight at 7 p.m., Good Friday mass tomorrow at 7 p.m., and on Saturday we will have a um, the Easter vigil at 8 p.m. Um, also on that Holy Saturday, there will be a service at 11 o'clock a.m. to commemorate Holy Saturday. Um, on Sunday, the, the usual round of Masses at 8, 9, and 11. And just to round out the festivities of Easter Day, an Easter egg hunt for the children at 10 o'clock. We don't want to forget our children. Um, okay, I think that's that's it. I wish you a pleasant day. Um, God bless. I'll see you at church and goodbye. <laughs>